I don't have anything else. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Everything Everywhere All at Once. What a title. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. Thank you so much if you are a subscriber, if you are part of my little golden grams over here on my channel. I really appreciate y'all. You guys are the best community I could ever ask for. And I love seeing your comments down below on these movies and shows that we watch together. And welcome if you're new. Hey. Hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these kinds of videos and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? It's free and there's a button down below you can click to subscribe. Maybe do it. It would be, I would like it. Thank you. I would appreciate it. <laughs> I'm really bad at call to actions. Anyway, we are finally watching this movie today. Everything, everywhere, all at once. I'm probably going to say that title a lot in this video because it's fun to say. This has been suggested to me so much here online. So many messages, so many comments, so many people requesting to see this movie. And I gotta be honest, the first time I actually heard about this movie was actually back in April. Not here on the internet, not from any of y'all, actually. The first time I heard about this movie was when it had just started, I think it had just had its theatrical release, or maybe it was a really limited release, like a limited showing. And I met this guy at this festival, quite frankly. It was a Burning Man type festival back in April. And we got talking and we were having a good time and he was talking about movies he liked and he seemed to have good taste. And we were like asking, what's a good movie you've seen recently? And he kept raving about this movie. This one specifically, he was like, it was mind blowing. It was incredible. It was one of the best movies I've seen in a long, long time. So I have really high expectations for this movie now. <laughs> I will admit, when he mentioned it to me, I was like, wow, that sounds really intriguing and I'd like to check it out, but I don't know if it'll be good to do for YouTube. I don't know if anyone will care. So I was pleasantly surprised when a lot of y'all started suggesting this movie for me to check out and for me to watch it. I was like, great. The stars have aligned. People want to see it. I want to see it. So I am excited to watch this one today, to say the least. When I was renting it on Amazon, I noticed who is in the cast, who directed this movie, I'm not actually familiar with either of the director's work. They're fairly new to me. So I'm pretty excited to see what they did with this movie and see what their style is like. I also noticed a familiar name in the cast, Kei Hui Kwan. I'm really excited to see him again. I don't think I've seen him in anything as an adult. I think all of the work that I'm familiar with him for is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and The Goonies. And I loved him in both of those movies. I think he was adorable. He was incredible. So talented. I'm really excited to see him uh, as an adult and see what he does in this movie and uh, what he's like now. I, I just feel like it'll be really interesting from that perspective. So I'm excited. But that's all I really see about the movie here from renting it. I've actively avoided looking at the log line because I don't really want to know what's going on in the plot. It's really hard to not read that kind of stuff sometimes when it's in your face on a screen. So I've tried to avoid seeing that. I did see that the genres are like science fiction, comedy, fantasy. It also says adventure and action. So it's everything, everywhere, all at once. It's literally all of the genres except for drama and horror. And I'm really excited to just hop on into it. But real quick, before I do, I just want to quickly mention, for those of you guys that don't know, I do have another YouTube channel. I always link it in the description bar down below. It's called Just Nat. And over there, I do different kinds of content than you see over here on my main channel. I've been live streaming a bit more recently. I've been doing video gameplay. It's been really fun. I've also been doing the occasional vlog or the occasional reaction style content. I also just posted a tier list over there where I ranked all of the Marvel movies that I had seen uh, up until that point when I filmed that video. So most of the Marvel movies are on that list. I think the only one that didn't make it was Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So if that kind of thing interests you, I would definitely go check out my other channel. We do have a lot of fun over there. And also listed in the description bar down below is my Twitter and my Instagram. So if you wanna stay up to date with me and just kind of stay in the know about things that are going on in my daily life, I would definitely follow me over there as well. But that's pretty much all I have to say for this intro, guys. I'm just excited to have a good time with y'all today and finally see what this movie is about. Because yeah, now thinking back to it, the guy at the festival, when we had a conversation about it, he literally couldn't even describe 
what this movie was about. He had a really hard time putting it into words. So I'm wondering if I'll have a hard time putting it into words by the time we're done here today. So yeah, if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh God, it went from being really sweet and cute and now it sounds scary. Oh, what, it's a different day. Oh, this is already so trippy. Oh my God, another mirror, another mirror. Oh my God, with his face in it. Oh, she's stressed about her dad coming over, craving her father's approval. Man, things are already moving really fast. Oh, oh, divorce? Oh, are they divorcing? Oh. I'm just telling you now in case my mom says something dumb like you're fat or whatever. Oh, it's her daughter. Thank you for coming. Please call me Wayman. Oh, oh, he's sweet. He's really personable. He's like, you can call me my first name. Oh, no, they're being audited. Oh, there's so much stress here in the house. You are very lucky. You are very lucky. You are very lucky. You are open. She's half Mexican. <laughs> I guess you are lucky that she's open to it. Could be worse. What's happening on the TV? Huh? What's happening to What's happening to him? He's doing parkour? What's he doing? He would survive. He just he's just like on the other end of the spectrum as you. You're, he's more lively and fun, and you're more like serious and regimented. What's happening? Oh, he's out. Gong Gong, this is this is Becky. Becky, Becky, is my. How do you say it? She gonna say friend. Old friend, old friend. Mom. Oh, maybe she would have said it, but she didn't. Yeah. I feel bad for like her daughter. Like feels scorned by her mother, but like it's also like yeah, this grandpa probably is gonna die like tomorrow. <laughs> like doesn't matter, but it hurts when it comes from your mother. You. You have to try and eat healthier. You are getting fat. <laughs> yeah. I feel like she wanted to say something caring and loving, but like literally couldn't. Cause that's like how a lot of mothers in general just express their love is through criticism to show that they care about their kids. But it's really just, it comes across as awful and so painful and critical. It's probably what her father and mother did to her. And yeah, you're just making your daughter cry now, man. Like, oh my God, all the bills and receipts and all the work. She's surrounded by laundry. I gotta know what was going on with the glitch and the security system with her husband. Part one is everything. Part two is everywhere. And then part three is all at once, huh? The IRS, oh yeah, because they're being audited. That's so stressful. I never want to be audited. Never, please, never. I don't want that energy. What the f Huh? There's no time to explain. Hold this. Breathe in. You can feel a slight pressure in your head. Whoa, it's like she's being born again. I'm sorry, it's a girl. Wow, so nice. What a way to start your life. Oh, she was with him from a young age. Oh, and they didn't like that she married him. And she did anyway. Oh, she's taking care of him now, though. Wow, this is... Wow. The dinging of the elevator as the fast forwarding of time. She's a teenager. Don't even talk to me about this because I won't remember. What? I won't remember? So that's what happened to him in the laundromat. She's shaking. What the f Switch shoes to the wrong feet. Close eyes. Mrs. Wang, are you with us? No, she ain't with you at all. She gonna switch her shoes? Oh, she's gonna do that, okay. Imagine you're in the janitor's closet. Oh. Whoa. Oh, there's two of her. I know it's a lot to take in right now. Got to Mrs. Wang. Hello. But I cannot imagine anything mattering more than the conversation we are now having concerning your tax liability. Uh, I can imagine a couple other things that matter more. And it does not look good. You guys had one too many deductions, huh? And this tax girl, she's so funny. Our time here is up. They're gonna kill us. What? Trust, no. Everything's falling apart. 
Trust no one? What a way to leave. Oh, it's her. It's her. Uh-oh. Uh, sit down. If I was this woman, I'd be like, I feel like we need to call an ambulance. You, you will have, you will have until I leave the office tonight to bring everything in. 6 p.m. Uh-oh. Oh no, we're working with a deadline. Oh, the divorce. Oh, the, the instructions on the back. You, he does? Why? So you know about this? The divorce papers? It was you. Like you was in the elevator. Oh no, she thinks she thinks we're talking about that. I was in the elevator. <laughs> I'm confused. Would they not have talked about the divorce? Switch shoes to what? She was bringing you her cart. She was bringing you your stuff. Oh my God, girl, oh no. Dissolution of marriage? She never read that. He was waiting to give it to her. She, oh, she didn't want the divorce. He wanted it. He wanted it. Oh. I told you to stay low and out of sight. And now he's back. They're gonna tase you, sir. I'm surprised they haven't tased him. They're just letting him pull this out of his fanny pack. Chapstick? What is he doing? What is he? He's gonna eat it? <laughs> Was eating the chapstick a necessary step? You just have to do something that subverts reality? Is that why? Oh my god! What an incredible fanny pack! Ah! They put the camera on the fanny pack! That was so funny! Oh, this is the other reality. The other reality. You are about to be graced by the presence of our sovereign leader. Uh-oh. Who is it? It's not her. Oh, it's not the one. They're looking for... They're looking for her. Oh my god, it's changing to widescreen! Oh my god, it's so trippy, man. Oh, she's tabbing through the universes. Is that where your parents are? Holy f Are you okay? It's her daughter! Oh no. This is where I am from. Oh. The Alphaverse. Alphaverse. The Alphaverse. In this world. Interesting. We're a brilliant woman. Oh, she was the leader in that in that cause. Wow. Oh. Uh oh. There you are. Oh. Uh oh. I think I finally understand why. I <gasps> Jesus Christ. She's terrifying. Give me Judas. Go. Gymnast. Oh my God, here they are in the van working with him. Okay, so paper cuts, four of them, one between each finger. Oh, so they tell him what to do. That's hilarious. There we go, one. Ow! Ow, I hate this! Ow! She's coming. Wouldn't she hear you? Wow, you know what's funny? I said this, it's everything but a horror and a drama, but this is pretty horrific. This is scary. <laughs> This movie is everything. Everywhere all at once. Okay, I'm locking in. Where is she gonna go? Profess love to Deidre. That seems like a weird one. I need to go. What? I need to find the right Evelyn. What? It's not the one. Oh. Uh... Evelyn? Find this in my shop! Huh? Oh no, he's back. Isn't she still coming? Yeah, oh no. I love you! <laughs> oh no. Try harder! Oh my god. Say it. And it worked. She's I I didn't even know those things were still in her ears. It works. Yay! Good job. Wow. The way. How did they film this? This is cool. Oh, <gasps> she famous? She's seeing what this life was like. Oh, in this one, she didn't she didn't date him. She was mugged. Somebody saved her. This epic badass kung fu queen. Oh, and she became a champion in kung fu. Ah, and then a movie star. Oh, he's horrified, this poor man. He's like, what is my wife doing? <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I saw my life without you. It was beautiful. Oh, that's really sad to say. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's a f***ed up thing to say. Wow. Raylan. Yeah, that's pretty f***ed up, girl. I better keep moving. Now you've definitely got your boss attention. 
Oh, now it's the other one. Oh my God, this is crazy. I saw a sign about a bagel before and now there's another bagel. Like there's a lot of these little recurring, little recurring things, little quirks. We began training many young minds to vote jump, but there was one who was far and above the most gifted. You saw her potential, so you pushed her. Your daughter? Yeah. Her mind was fractured. You did it to your own daughter? That's so f***ed up. Her mind experiences every world, every possibility, at the same exact time. Oh my god. All we know is she's looking for you. She's coming for you guys, yeah. That's a horrifying noise to hear. Yeah, here she is. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, it's the version of her with an axe, huh? Oh no. Wait, it's not. She's in like an Elvis suit with a pig? Can't let you do that either. You with the cat! See, I don't think you understand the meaning of that word. She's getting real pissed about this, uh, this grammar lesson. She just made him throw up confetti. <laughs> oh! Bye! Oh my god, she can change everything. Holy this is insane. You just shot your own officer. Oh my god. You're the reason my daughter doesn't call anymore. I don't think that that's the reason. Why she thinks she is gay? No, she just is gay. You're still hung up on the fact that I like girls in this world. <laughs> Oh, she got the cuffs off. Wait, what happened? She's off the damn map. <laughs> She's off the, the map. She appears to be in a universe where everyone has hot dogs instead of fingers. What is this, 2001 A Space Odyssey? No, this is from 2001 A Space Odyssey, right? What the f is this movie? This is, ah, ew, ew! Oh my God, it's the 2001 A Space Odyssey music, but like f***ed up. Oh, wow. Is this her invention? Is that a black hole? Looks like a, oh, it looks like a bagel. Is everything just a bagel? I got bored one day and I put everything on a bagel. chapter oh no her eyes what happened who brought her out of it what the f grandpa i'm alpha coco <laughs> oh my god this movie is crazy oh my god i i i don't have the words right now this is just wild i'm dying like this is amazing but what the f i'm no good at anything exactly Exactly. You're perfectly average. You're capable of anything because you're so bad at everything. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh oh. Why are you here? I have no clue. Hey, gentle language. Oh, it is. This, it's their daughter. <laughs> it's your real daughter. I don't think tape is gonna stop her. To be fair. It's like that movie. That movie. Okay, what are you talking about? Movie? Rakakuni. What movie? What? Huh? Rakakuni. What? Ratatouille? 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 No. I like that movie. No, 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 no. <laughs> Rakakuni. <laughs> with the raccoon. Okay. No, there's no raccoon. The tape is like not even on her body anymore. Oh, come on. You are already under her spell. Everyone stay calm. I think it's time for a family discussion. <laughs> It's time for a family discussion. Yeah. Is she doing something weird to like, to universe hop? How does she know just what to do? Is she just guessing? No, you don't agree with me, but this is something I have to do. That sounds weird. That's his voice. You don't know what you're jump. <laughs> yeah, she's just guessing. She's just f***ing around. Oh. Ew. Oh my God, I love that she's just f***ing around doing weird ass uh oh, my God! Oh! Mind fracturing. Send every jumper with a counterpart in the area. Warning: mind fa fracturing is all I heard. Find your jumping pads. Uh oh. Ave Maria. Okay, Queen. Oh my God! They all have to do weird ass. Shit. This is hilarious. My lama. Oh, she was blinded in this one. Singer, the one where she's a singer. 
Oh, that's like her real dream. Oh, she's just breathing in the gas. Increased lung capacity. So she chose it because she's a singer. Yeah. She's fighting blind. Oh, right. Because she, yeah. She also found the blind universe too. Oh, it's a pizza spinning one. I don't know. Is this good enough? It's got to be. Oh, nice. That's good. Yay. The music is incredible too. Is that a dog? Where is it? Oh, Jenny! No f***ing way. No, her dog can you jump? No! No, her dog is the weapon! <laughs> In this world, her dog is just programmed to attack? Honey, you're using him as a weapon. You can't love him that much. Sorry, baby. How about we use a different weapon? This is f***ed up! <laughs> She's a hibachi chef in this one? <laughs> run, puppy, run for your life. Please, get away from this woman. You don't step up, I'm giving some of your shifts to Chad. Oh, <laughs> Chad. Ew, he's got a raccoon tail! I'm, I'm surprised that keyboard held up that long. Oh good, you got one, great. Now it's a fair fight. What happened? Oh, they, they snap back. They snap back into reality. I'm, you know, they're jumping pad. Yeah, their Bluetooth things are broken. What? Yeah, I think she needs to do something weird again. What's he doing? No, 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 no. Who's this guy? Uh oh. No, 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 her pinky had a bicep! She's just using her pinkies. This is incredible. You need to explain. I have been watching you. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh no, what's happening to him? Is he dying? In the other one? In the other universe? Oh no. Oh, he's holding Evelyn's ashes. His Evelyn. Oh, he's gonna die then. Oh. Man, K. Wee Kwan, you're killing it! This is so good! Oh. She just killed him. Well, I, oh, I'm just saying, you're killing it. I didn't, you know, I meant like in acting, but oh, oh, damn. Oh, okay. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he did such a good job in this movie. This is so amazing. Oh, you still can't see what's happening. What are you, like a goth warhead K pop star? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Evelyn, you okay? Rough day, huh? Oh, it's not the end. No, this movie is two hours, over two hours long. No, no, ah, it's a movie within a movie. Ah, it's her movie. Ah, oh, she's here. She woke up here. It's our daughter. Ah, what daughter? Not here. You don't have one here. Culinarily, now we're cooking. That's why he had a raccoon tail coming it, coming out of his hat because it was like Ratatouille. He was a puppet. Shut up. I'm begging you. No, 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 no please. Go, go. Oh my God. The hot dog universe. I really hate this one. I'm not going to lie. It's f***ing disturbing. She's back. Now we're on to everywhere, part two. Ah! Oh, everything was first, right. And now it's everywhere. Right, everything, like an everything bagel. Sit on the crack. <clears throat> Sit on the crack of the couch. On the crack? Why, because that's something no one would ever do? <laughs> Sit on the crack. That's weird. <laughs> I love this whole, like, doing things that are out of the norm and weird to, like, jump to different universes. Oh. I don't care about the bagel. She wants to show show her the bagel. 
She's back here. What is she gonna do? Oh my God, is she all right? Oh, Jenny Slate did come to the party. Evelyn. <gasps> She's back? How is she back? I mean to not even show up for your appointment. Shut up. Shut up. I said shut up. You don't matter. The hot dog universe where they're like a couple. It's so funny. We're just going around in circles. Do laundry. Uh oh. It's a laundry and taxes. He's nodding because he doesn't speak English. Oh, she's signing the papers. Oh, she's here. Great. Wait, She didn't drop it off. What are you doing? No, no, no. The raccoon. She's ruining his life. <laughs> the raccoon thing is really funny. Oh no. No. Did you just kill him? You just kill him? What are you doing? Why? Why? Not a single moment will go by without every other universe screaming for your attention. Oh, she can't, she, she can't, she, yeah, she can't be fully in the moment. Animal control? Why does animal control have to get involved? Why can't he be his pet raccoon? Oh my God. Everyone's a mess. Everything's a mess. The, the ashes, her ashes are singing. Oh my God, a dead nun, an animal, a furry, a, oh my God, so much. What? Did she just turn into a rock? Did she just turn into a rock? Is that her and her daughter, rocks, next to each other? Oh my God. Oh good, you're here too. Where are we? One of the universes where the conditions weren't right for life to form. Oh, it's peaceful. They can live there. Most of them are like this, actually. It's nice. Yeah, you can just sit here and everything feels really far away. I just feel so stupid. God, please, we're all stupid. Small, stupid humans. It's like our whole deal. <laughs> Every new discovery is just a reminder. We're all small and stupid. And who knows what great new discovery is coming next to make us feel like even smaller pieces of <laughs> Language. <laughs> <laughs> a big joke. Ha! <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> oh, they're back here. You know why I actually built the bagel? Why? It was to destroy myself. Oh, yeah. Like in all of your universes. I don't have to do it alone. Oh. What is she hearing? She's back here. There's something in this universe that's important. My silly husband. Probably making things worse. No, he frequently makes things better, actually. He frequently fixes. Okay, you can let her go. See? Yeah, he fixed it for you. He also fixed it for you in the tax appointment. He's a nice man. He's a good guy. That was at 235. Another week. That's impossible. It's just a statistical inevitability. It's nothing special. No, it is something special. It has to do with him. Something special. I don't know what the heck is going on, but somehow it feels like it's all my fault. Oh, all his fault? Kill, kill with kindness, yeah. It's too late to win. Women. Too late. Oh, it doesn't have to be too late. Whoa. Oh, when they were younger. In another life. Oh. I would have really liked just doing laundry and taxes with you. Oh. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh, that's so. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Oh. It was all about him this whole time. Uh oh, Joy's here. Oh, I get it. Her outfits have been the best in this movie, like by far. I love what they did with her hair on her forehead too. Oh no, everything's being sucked into a black hole now. No, what are you gonna do, Evelyn? Evelyn, please, no more. No more violence, how is she gonna do anything? What is she gonna do? I remembered when my husband Served me papers. I drove his Kia oh. Forte through my neighbor's kitchen. Oh. It's called a lovable <laughs> like us. Make the world go round. And the, oh, and this one, yeah. 
Were there a couple? Oh, they play with the feet? Were they playing the piano with their feet? Because they can't play with their hands. <laughs> there is always something to love. Even in a stupid, stupid universe where we have hot dogs for fingers. <laughs> True. Right, it's not all hopeless and sad and lost. There's always something good. Ah, she's hugging her. <laughs> she's turning them into googly eyes. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, stop that. You aren't supposed to move here. You're just a rock. She's got googly eyes on. There are no rules. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm learning to fight like him. Yeah, to fight like him. Yeah, that's the only way you can really like change their minds. Let's get in there with positivity and kindness. Making them kiss. It's a wedding now. <laughs> you took everything away from me. Rekakuni taught me so much. Let's go rescue your silly raccoon. Yeah, I, I don't know why animal control had to take him. Oh my God. The Ratatouille reference really is hilarious. Oh my God, everybody has something they love. Yeah, dolls, great, whatever works, you know? Oh no. Why must you stop her? Oh, this one's gonna be tough. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, you let her, you let your daughter go. Wow. Damn right, girl. Are you going to be proud of your daughter now, too? <gasps> yeah. Because just like me. Oh, oh. Becky's like, I don't know what's going on, but it sounds nice. <laughs> this is Becky. A joy. And now it seems like it's unwilling though, but maybe it's just because this is the, this is really the joy who didn't want that, who's fighting to go down the black hole. But he's letting her go. Wow. We just got one more. Stop calling me Emily. She just say, I'm your mother. Oh. Oh, he's holding them in too. Wait, wait! Oh, it's like a family movie. Stop! Oh. I don't want to hurt anymore, and for some reason when I'm with you, it just, it just hurts the both of us. Just let me go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! No matter what, I still want to be here with you. Oh. I might not go somewhere where your where your daughter is more than just this. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, if Becky was here watching this conversation, I would be like, I'm so confused as to what is going on in this family. Yeah. Here you go. Like I'm 14. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're friends with this IRS employee. <laughs> sorry, Rick, sorry. No, we gotta get him back. Yes! Go! Oh, the raccoon! Is she coming back out? The hot dog. I really could be done with the hot dog universe. It's really a bit much for me. <laughs> with the condiments in their mouths. I really don't like it. <laughs> He's like, okay, are we good now? This suck. Yeah, they do. I was actually, oh, all at once, part three. I was actually dealing with tax bull with Tyler before sitting down to film this. Becky. You need to grow your hair. But Becky, you can do whatever the f you want with your hair. Things are better. This is this is a, an improvement and I'm I'm glad that you listen. Oh yay. She's having a hard time focusing, huh? She was hearing everything all at once. Did you hear me? Sorry. What did you say? Wow. It's been a long time since I feel like I've seen a movie that felt so chaotic and complicated and intense and heady from the get-go, but then by the end felt so simple and sweet. 
I legitimately can't remember the last time a movie made me feel that way. And I just loved that in the end, it was really just all about like choosing to focus on the good things in life and to live life with kindness and love and happiness as best as your ability. Because the only other option is just giving up completely. You know, her walking into the black hole, it's like a metaphor for, it's like giving up um, because everything was just too painful and she couldn't bear all of the horrific and sad and devastating parts of existence. But for her mother to like teach her, no, it's worth pursuing, it's worth pushing on because there's so many joyful moments in life and so many beautiful things. Um, Necessarily see the movie going in that direction when we started this movie. And for that to be where we ended up, it made perfect sense and it was so beautiful and sweet and I really loved it. I love that it was like this whole family (laughs) <laughs> was fighting against each other and um, working through their issues and their dynamics in all these different universes and realities of where they did or didn't work out. And that like the daughter was the antagonist and the mother was the protagonist. I feel like so often in a movie with a mother-daughter dynamic, you frequently see the daughter is the protagonist and the mother is the antagonist. Movies like Turning Red or Brave Frequently, you just see the mother as kind of like the antagonistic figure and the daughter as the protagonist fighting for their relationship. But a lot of times it's the other way around. Um, you know, the mother and daughter won't see eye to eye, but the the mother has the wisdom to know it's worth fighting for. And I feel like oftentimes it, that's the dynamic as well. And so I really liked seeing that perspective where she was the main character. And also I just loved the whole moment where she realizes how important her husband is and the way that he walks through the world, the way that he treats others and the way that he carries himself is actually not silly and not childish or stupid. It's really wise and it's really crucial um, to having the success in a healthy dynamic in their family. I feel like I really relate to this family dynamic a lot. I feel like it, it kind of matches my family dynamic a little bit. I feel like my dad, my dad's a pretty silly, goofy person too. And frequently like, you know, I've seen people dismiss him or family members dismiss him for just being silly or goofy. But really like he's, we joke around a lot that he's like a Zen master because he chooses to take a less emotional tactic a lot of the times and just kind of be more playful and goofy and treat people with kindness and um, not really take on stress because he knows that that's not going to be productive um and so i see a little bit of my dad in the in this character in this father figure and a little bit of my mom as well because i also understand the other side of things you know constantly feeling like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders and you're stressed and trying to provide for your family and take care of all the logistics and then the daughter feeling like she's stubborn and not seen and not validated and every conversation with her mother is like a battle i so relate to that too i just feel like every character was so empathetic it was just so beautiful it was such a beautiful story it was mind-blowing and sweet and epic and poetic and hilarious (laughs) it was everything it was truly everything everywhere all at once it was awesome And I feel like I'll be thinking about this one forever. I feel like I'll have to rewatch it a million times to really be able to put into words how it made me feel. Like, I I truly feel a little bit unable to express everything it made me feel at this time so soon after watching it, but it was awesome. (laughs) And the sets and the wardrobes, like just the sheer amount of work that it had to go into a movie like this for the amount of costume changes, the amount of set changes, the amount of work that a lot of the actors had to do playing these different characters constantly, or these different versions of similar characters constantly. It was just so crazy and epic and awesome. I, I just, I feel like I've, I've never seen anything like this in terms of the amount of costumes <laughs> to be used in a movie. This was wild. Um, the lighting, the cinematography, the editing, it was just all awesome. That little scene with the two rocks too was so simple and hilarious. And I I just loved it. I loved it. (laughs) It was great, man. Yeah, this was a fun ride. It was awesome. And I wish I had more to say and more to like distill out of this at this time. But right now I kind of just want to enjoy the way that it made me feel in a broad 
kind of way and not try to like pick out certain moments because I don't feel the need to break it down just yet. I'm just, I enjoyed it a lot. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well. And I hope that you enjoyed this movie and that it made you feel some type of way. <laughs> Until the next video, that's all I really have for you guys in this one. So if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more things like this in the future. I don't know what could ever be like this, but <laughs> let me know. Give it a like if you liked it. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to. And until the next one, stay golden. Bye.